One of the, the biggest stories amongst fans for the movie world right now is Fantastic Four, right? People have been crying and screaming and hollering for Disney and Marvel to get back Fantastic Four. They got them back. The fan casting, of course, has been, you know, as intense, if not more so, than who's going to be the next James Bond and who's going to be the next Batman. Of course, a lot of people want John Krasinski in it. And then Kevin Feige said, okay, I don't know that he's actually going to be our ongoing Reed Richards, but here's a little gift to you fans. Here's John Krasinski and at least a multiverse version of Reed Richards. Some people still think he's going to be Reed Richards. Maybe he will, maybe he won't, you know, we'll find that out. But one of the things that I've said for a bit is I believe the casting's already done. You know, despite all the other reports that says, oh, you know, they're still looking. I, I've said for a while, I believe the casting's done. I think it's been done for a while. Well, apparently, we were just speaking of WandaVision. WandaVision director and now director of Fantastic Four, Matt Shackman. He's just made some comments that make it sound like, yeah, the casting is already done. But he just can't tell us who it is. Uh, check this out. As one would expect, with a project of this size and scale, plus the marvel of it all, concrete information is hard to uncover. On the casting front... Shackman noted that with the SAG strike going on, it was impossible to announce anything or put a timescale on. However, he did add that he was very excited to share the news with the fans and that there would be a plan in place to announce the casting as soon as the strike came to a successful conclusion for the actors. There, let me read that last part again. He's very excited to share the news with fans and that there would be a plan in place to announce the casting as soon as the strike came to a successful conclusion for the actors. Now, there's something I want to point out uh, that nowhere in this story does Shackman actually say the words, yes, we have done the casting and we have our Fantastic Four, but I just can't tell you yet. But being somebody that has believed for a while they've already got their casting done, despite all the other reports and everything else that's going around that's all just camouflage and everything. Remember, all the reports and rumors are going around about who's going to be the next Batman long, like long after Ben Affleck had signed on the dotted line to be the Batman in Batman versus Superman, right? I believe that's the case. So when he says, we can't announce anything right now because of SAG, but I'm super excited to let you know about everything, give you all these announcements once the SAG strike is done. Rob, I mean, you and I have talked a lot of, about who's going to be Ben Grimm, who's going to be Reed Richards, who's going to be Sue Storm, who's going to be Johnny Storm, like all, all this kind of stuff. To me, this sounds pretty clear. It sounds like we, we just can't tell you who it is right now because we got an actor strike going on. We can't do all this kind of stuff. Plus, the Fantastic Four movie is still very far away. I mean, they could be sitting on this for even months more after the SAG strike is done. But it does sound to me like they've got their cast. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Vessi. Now, you guys know I'm not exactly the most fashion-conscious guy in the world, but I love a great pair of shoes that are comfortable and I can wear almost anywhere. And growing up in Canadian winters when my feet got wet a lot, waterproof would be nice too. Enter Vessi. They make the claim that they're not just fashionable and super comfortable, they're also waterproof. Now, you guys remember, when I got my first pair of Vessis, I put them to the ultimate waterproof test. I actually stuck my foot in my pool, my feet stayed dry, and the shoes stayed dry. Incredible. And they're the most comfortable pair of shoes I ever owned. Well, that made me want another pair. So I got another pair of Vessis that look great and just equal that world-class comfort that I got from that first pair of shoes. They are absolutely my favorite shoes that I've ever owned. Imagine your favorite sneaker style supercharged with waterproof technology and unmatched comfort. No matter how you like to stay active, Vessi has the shoes for you. Trail-ready high tops, effortless slip-ons, and classic court shoes, all with a waterproof twist. They are just as comfortable and stylish as your favorite sneakers, but even more versatile. So guys, if you're anything like me and you want the most comfortable pair of shoes that look great, that you can take out hiking, wear to work, go to the gym, or walk through the water and snow, go to Vessi.com slash Campia and get yourself a pair today. Go to Vessi.com slash Campia and get 15% off your order using the code Campia. Do you think they have their cast? And if yes... Do you think it's any of the names we've already discussed batted around? Do you think it's going to be kind of surprising us like right out of left field, like how Superman and Lois casting kind of went? What do you see? 
I think, yes, they have cast this probably like you. I believe it was cast quite a while ago. Uh, even before the actors strike, they just were sitting on that information before they could announce it. Um, I don't necessarily think that it's who we might have thought in the past or what's been So you think it might not be any of the names that they've already mentioned? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it wasn't any of those names and it was totally surprising. Um, it wouldn't, it, not at all. Then again, maybe it would, but it, it's not, I, I, I tend to think it's going to surprise us. And I think, you know, good. I, I, I'd rather have it be that way. And there's a reason why we don't know yet. You know, they're going to announce it when they need to announce it. And, um, look, I, I, there's nothing more than I, a, a great fantastic four movie that I would love to see. I really, I love the fantastic four. You know, the John Byrne run was a favorite in the eighties. I love Jonathan Hickman's run on fantastic four more recently. I I'm a fan of this super team and I would love to see them get their definitive movie because I don't think the Tim story version cut it. I don't think, um, the other, the Corman? other two versions, the Corman version, yeah, <laughs> and then later on the 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 Josh Trank version, but that had problems anyway. I I would love to see a great film, so I hope it. I mean, I hope that we get the Marvel. Marvel has done an a, an exceedingly well job. Is that right, Brammer? They've done a great job casting their characters. They really have, yeah. And I think whoever they give us. It's going to be a magical ensemble of four actors that really bring home that familial magic that the Fantastic Four needs at its core. I can't wait. I'm really hoping this movie's great. See, I, I think to your point, there are two things that are true. Number one, I think they're going to do a great job casting this. Uh, and number two is there's going to be a lot of complaining when they announce the cast. because And, and that's, that's a little bit fair because they're casting for roles we haven't seen yet. Like, they know what their Reed Richards is going to be like. We don't. So I think a lot of people, when they announce Reed Richards, whoever it is, is going to, are going to complain a lot very vocally because it might not be the person to fit the Reed Richards in their head. But I think they're going to do a great job. Let me ask you this, though. I, I, you know, Chris and I were doing the show last week, and I kind of mentioned when a lot of people say Fantastic Four is going to be a billion-dollar film, I have my doubts about it. And, and here's what my doubts were. I want to know what you have to think, what to say about this, is that, number one, none of the previous Fantastic Four iterations came anywhere near that mark. Number two, like, I remember when we were at Clyder and AMC, like, we had to do a story about how oh, the Fantastic Four comic books just got canceled because nobody reads them. They are the first family of comics, of comic book superheroes, but... I want to know what you think about this. Does the Fantastic Four today still have enough relevance or popularity that it could be have a big leg up on big success just because they're the Fantastic Four? Or is the Fantastic Four now more of a legacy name? I don't know. How do you see this working out? I think it's a great question you're asking. And I think, honestly, they don't. It is a legacy name. There's no reason right now for any audience to get excited about the Fantastic Four. And I think, in a way... Uh, maybe even Doctor Strange. I think they're going to do Doctor Strange numbers. Like this is a movie Which that's going to make great. It would be great. You know, late the uh, the high end of the six hundred millions, if it's a good movie. I mean, this film. It's funny because they're the most known quantity of all the Marvel characters that haven't really been turned into something yet. I mean, so if it's done well and if the cast is great and if they come up with a great story, it's going to work. But I also see, because a Fantastic Four movie, we've now seen four different versions, and you can see exactly why they don't work. Right. So it's hard. This is not an easy thing to do, because you don't make just one kick-ass hero. You have to make all four of these. Like, I just, honestly, I just didn't believe who they cast. Like, in the Tim Story versions, it's not like they had bad actors. I just didn't believe them in the context of the movie that they'd made. I will say I liked Michael Chiklis. He was ben great. Grimm. He was. Yeah. I loved him. But the the and the rest Evans's Johnny Storm had certain elements that went with it. Yeah, it was. It, it all they were great actors, but they didn't work. The whole movie didn't work for me. Mm. I just didn't buy it. Yeah. Whereas the MCU is already set up with the confines of the MCU are. So if they were, if if it works, it will be great. But the potential for, of all the big Marvel, uh, the guns in the Marvel universe, this one is the hardest one to wield, I think, correctly. Yeah, but I think it gives us both a lot of confidence that yeah. you, you and I really like WandaVision. 
The fact that they got Matt to come over and do it. He left a Star Wars movie yep. uh, to come do this. Great story. ensemble cast potential here. He was good with the cast in WandaVision. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.